a new class of antibiotics discovered using artificial intelligence. Using artificial intelligence. Scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have discovered a completely new class of compounds that have great potential in the fight against infections caused by drug-resistant bacteria. These substances, as tests have shown, cope with, among others, with MRSA and have very low toxicity to human cells. In a study published in the journal Nature, scientists described a new class of antibiotics discovered using artificial intelligence algorithms. Scientists have shown that these compounds can deal with laboratory-grown methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA. These substances were also effective in two mouse models of MRSA infection, and against vancomycin-resistant Enterococci, VRE. Moreover, these compounds also have very low toxicity to human cells which makes them particularly good drug candidates. The compounds described in the publication were helped to identify by artificial intelligence. What's important about this study is that the researchers were also able to find out what kind of information the machine learning model used to estimate the potency of the new antibiotics. This knowledge could help scientists develop additional drugs that may work even better than those identified in the algorithms. We could see what the models learned to predict that certain molecules would be good antibiotics. Our work provides a framework that saves time and resources, says Mitz James Collins. Collins and his team have been running a program for several years in which they are trying to use artificial intelligence to detect or develop effective measures against drug-resistant pathogens that pose an increasing threat. Their work brought the first results at the beginning of 2020. Then a paper was published in which Collins and his colleagues described a new strong antibiotic that is highly effective against a Chinitobacter baumani and other dangerous bacteria. These compounds were identified using machine learning models. They can learn to identify chemical structures associated with antimicrobial activity. These models screen millions of compounds generating predictions about which ones may have strong antibacterial activity. These types of searches have proven fruitful. But one of the limitations of this approach is that the models do not reveal what information they based their predictions on. These models consist of a very large number of calculations imitating neural connections, and no one really knows what is going on under the hood, said Felix Wong, co-author of the paper. First, the researchers trained the deep learning model using significantly expanded datasets. They generated training data based on approximately 39,000 tests compounds that were tested for activity against MRSA. They then fed this data and information about the compound's chemical structures into an artificial intelligence model. In principle, you can represent any molecule as a chemical structure and also model whether this chemical structure is antibacterial or not. The model is trained on many such examples. If you then give it any new molecule, new arrangement of atoms and bonds, you can determine the probability of whether this compound has antibacterial activity, Wong admitted. To find out how the model makes its predictions, the researchers adapted another algorithm that has previously been used to explain other deep learning models such as AlphaGo. This algorithm allows the model to not only generate an estimate of each molecule's antimicrobial activity, but also predict which substructures of the molecule are likely to be responsible for that activity. But it is not everything. 
The researchers trained three additional deep learning models to predict whether the compounds would be toxic to three different types of human cells. Combining this information with predictions about antimicrobial activity, they selected compounds that could kill microbes while having minimal adverse effects on the body. Scientists armed with several artificial intelligence models screened about 12 million compounds. Among these, the models identified substances from five different classes. Based on chemical substructures in the molecules, that were predicted to be active against MRSA. The researchers tested 280 compounds against MRSA grown in a laboratory dish which allowed him to identify two that appeared to be very promising antibiotic candidates. In tests in two mouse models, one for skin MRSA infection and the other for systemic MRSA infection. Each of these compounds reduced the MRSA population by tenfold. We have quite strong evidence that this new structural class is active against gram-positive pathogens. The particles selectively attack bacterial cell membranes in a way that does not cause significant damage to human cell membranes. Our significantly improved deep learning approach predicted this new structural class of antibiotics and determined that it is not toxic to human cells emphasized Wong. Collins Lab is already working to design additional drug candidates based on the new study's results, as well as using the models to look for compounds that can kill other types of bacteria. thousand mummified ram heads were discovered in Egypt. Archaeologists have discovered a huge collection of mummified ram heads in the Temple of Ramesses II in the ancient city of Abydos. Scholars believe the skulls were likely left as an offering to the pharaoh, suggesting that Ramesses II was worshipped a thousand years after his death. The severed and mummified heads of rams were discovered in the temple of Ramesses II in Abydos, an ancient city located less than 700 kilometers south of Cairo. The site was built in honor of a ruler who reigned between approximately 1279 BC and 1213 BC. The temple, discovered 150 years ago, was built after the pharaoh's death. The temple is richly decorated, among others. Images of Osiris. He was a god famous for dying and then coming back to life. Also noteworthy is the impressive black stone arch. The found ram heads were probably offered as an offering to Ramesses II. He was a pharaoh beloved by people who died about a thousand years before leaving him an unusual gift. The collection of skulls was found by scientists from New York University in a previously unknown ancient storage building in the northern part of the temple. Representatives of the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities announced on social media. Some of the ram's heads are covered with bandages and have been partially preserved. But most are, bare, skulls. The team also found the remains of goats, dogs, cows, deer and an ostrich at the site. All the animals were probably left behind about a thousand years after Ramesses II ruled Egypt. Scientists believe that it was intended as an offering to a revered king. Ramesses II is known for his extremely long reign, which lasted 66 years. The pharaoh expanded the ancient Egyptian empire and also maintained alliances with neighboring countries. Works of art depicting the ruler often show him as a great warrior king. This is probably why he was so revered long after his death. However, 
Historical records suggest that his military prowess may have been the work of ancient propaganda. The ministry also said that excavations at the temple revealed another previously unknown building, which was built during the 6th dynasty. She ruled Egypt from around 2323 BC until 2150 BC. This period precedes the reign of Ramesses II by 1,100 years. This previously unknown building has walls approximately 5 meters thick and contains many unusual artifacts, including statues, stone slabs, clothes, leather shoes, papyri and tree fragments. The new discovery will significantly contribute to rethinking the activities and architecture of the old state in Abydos, say ministry representatives.